Look at those teeth, y'all. Chomper. I just got a fish. Yeah, I'm, I gotta get down in the rocks. Oh, I'm on, y'all. I think it's a fish. Hopefully. Yes, yeah, I think it's a halibut. Drop shot. Oh, yeah, it is. It's something heavy. It's a fish. Now. Yeah, halibut. Oh, I think it's illegal too. The only problem is I don't know how I'm gonna land it. Oh, damn. Uh, maybe it might be short. I'd say I think it might be too too small to keep. Uh oh, wish me luck. <laughs> All right, very slippery. Now let's see if we can land it. It choked it too. Uh, crap. Nah, I think it's a little small. There we go, y'all. Uh, hold on. I don't know if it's good enough to keep. We just got splashed. Never turn your back to the beach, but grab it by the tail. There we go. Okay. Let us see. Crap. All right, let's see. We got to measure it. I don't think it's legal, but uh, legal. I don't think it's big enough. It has to be at least 22 inches. So we're gonna match. Oh, it's what it's too short. So we gotta release this one. There we go. We're getting bigger. Gotta watch the hook though because it'll definitely, look at those teeth, y'all. Chomper. I gotta re-rig. Re yeah. Yeah, it's too small to keep. Oh, damn. Well, clean, <laughs> yeah. Clean release. Okay, y'all. Ah, damn, sorry, sorry, halibut. This is a, I guess this is a bad spot to try to land a halibut. Well, since we broke off, I got to retie. I'm retying that drop shot. And I hope, hopefully that halibut survives. If that was a legal fish, we would have been having halibut. My setup is a, it's called a Phoenix Trifecta Light. It's a 904 paired up with the a Fuego. Um, 2500 reel and I handled that that halibut really well I, initially I thought I was snag on some uh, I 
thought I was snagged on some grass in the water. So I didn't even think it was a fish <laughs> until it started fighting like like after the fact. And I was like, oh snaps, I got a I got a fish, baby. Wait, I was using a half ounce, but it felt like the, the water was taking my half ounce weight too much. Going to this uh Berkeley Gold grub with a long shank hook. I like that long shank hook so it can get into the halibut's mouth without you know getting cut. So let's get back out there. For me, the easiest way to catch a halibut has been on a drop shot. From going to a pier, going to a beach, fishing off of a jetty. Everywhere you go, a drop shot with a simple grub. Whether you get it from Berkeley Goat, wherever you buy it, it don't matter what the plastic is, whatever. A white, small bait fish profile on a drop shot has been working for me. I haven't got a legal yet, but in a previous video when I was fishing with Mike, I gave him my setup and then he gave it he uh he gave it to his son-in-law or his son, I'm not sure who it was, but and then he passed it on to somebody who was fishing with him and they caught a legal halibut on the exact setup that I've been using, which is just uh, a drop shot, um, a weight at the bottom, about a half ounce weight with a little curly tail grub on the top. Yeah, man, the main thing to do is just to get out there and try. Don't let another person's bad experience stop you from going. I haven't been to a beach where it was like, there's no halibut available. There's beaches and locations where people kind of discourage you from fishing or you just don't think to fish there because wherever you usually see, nothing but surfers in the water or nothing but people swimming in the water or maybe the water isn't, maybe the water isn't as clean as you want it to be. Whether the water is clean and all of that is irrelevant if the fish are there because I've experienced the fish being there, but some people may recommend you don't eat the fish from out of that water. Be that as it may, you can get out there and practice your rig, your setups and all that and casting and see what to look for, you know, so that when you get to a beach that's clean or a beach that you decide you want to eat from, you can fish it there and you'll be fully prepared on how to do it even though you've been practicing on the trash beaches. So if you have tips and suggestions, I welcome them. I appreciate them. They're never rejected. But the only thing that I ask is if you're going to leave a tip, can you kind of like explain a little bit? Like, don't just like say those are trash or, you know, blah, blah, blah is better. Can you explain why? That's all I ask. Just, just explain why. Just a few, like if it's a short sentence explaining why, I would appreciate it because, you know, it's like, yeah just give a little bit of explanation behind your statement if you if you choose you don't have to but that's what i'm asking all right y'all peace out <laughs> two three that's a guaranteed 22. yeah no, yeah. Wow. no, no mike don't put your finger in there mike oh, don't do it mike. oh yeah look at that 23 oh, yeah 23 <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing now?